Hey guys, here we are again with the at-home workout number five. We're gonna get started again with another Tabata style warm-up. We've got three different movements of this one and we're gonna go through it three sets. So, we're starting off with a dumbbell or a kettlebell swing. We're moving on to a burpee and then we're finishing with air squats. All right guys, so for our Tabata warm-up, as we get started, we're gonna start off with a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing, whatever you guys prefer. So, just make sure that when we get set, that dumbbell is going straight to our hips as we push those knees and the hips back behind us, and we're only doing Russian swings, so just eye level here. Once you finish your 20 seconds of your swings, we're gonna be moving on to a burpee. So, just a ordinary burpee, just the floor, hop up, jump, clap overhead. After you finish your burpee, you'll then move on to your air squat. So, good depth in the air squat, working on good posture, arms, chest, and eyes straight forward. All right guys, after you finish your warm up, we're gonna get into a little bit of strength and accessory work. We're gonna go through one set of a plank complex and then we're gonna move on to a little bit of arm accessory work. That first set, we're gonna go through a plank complex. We're gonna start in a push up position. We're gonna hold that plank for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a left side plank for 30 seconds. Then a right side plank for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna rest one minute. We're gonna do that four times. After you finish your plank complex, our arm accessory work today is we're going to go through four sets of 10 bicep curls and then we're going to go into a 30 second isometric row hold. You can rest as needed in between those sets. As we get into our strength and accessory work and we start off with the plank complex, what it's going to look like here is we're going to get into a push up plank. As soon as you get set, that clock starts for 30 seconds. Once 30 seconds hits, you're going to go to your left side, All right, staying nice and stacked. Arm over arm, feet are stacked, and hips are high off the ground. We're gonna hold this plank for 30 seconds. Once that 30 seconds is up, then we'll switch to the right side. Same thing. As soon as you hold that for 30 seconds in each plank, we're gonna rest one minute, repeat that four times. Now for the next accessory piece, as we get started, if you only have one dumbbell, you can use one dumbbell, or if you have two, you can use two. It's up to you guys. I'm gonna demo with two, but if you just have one, I'll show you one here in a second. But as we get started, we're gonna do 10 bicep curls. So as we curl to the top, I want you to think about turning your pinkies into your shoulder. So we curl in at the top, go parallel back at the bottom. We're gonna do 10 dumbbell curls. Once you finish your 10, we're gonna go immediately into a 30 second isometric row hold. So we're gonna hinge forward here, taking the knees and the hips back, as we hold those dumbbells right next to our rib cage. So 30 second hold there. Big chest, think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. We're gonna to do four sets of that, rest as needed in between each set. Now, if you have just one dumbbell, say you have a 50 pound dumbbell, you're not gonna be able to curl 50 pounds in each hand. We can go one dumbbell curling up, just like so, making sure that we're keeping the elbows in front of our body and not coming back this way. After you finish your 10 with a single dumbbell, we're gonna hinge over in the same position and then hold that dumbbell up against our rib cage, just like we would if we had two dumbbells. Now the workout for today, option one, two, and three are all gonna be very similar. It just depends on the amount of equipment that you have. So if you have two dumbbells, it's gonna be for option one. If you only have one dumbbell, it's gonna be option two. And then for option three, we can use a bag like we did um, a couple days ago. So the workout is going to be an eight minute AMRAP. You're gonna go and start with four sets or four rounds of five double presses and then moving on to 10 dumbbell squats. Once you finish your four rounds of the five and 10, we're gonna move on with the remaining time of an AMRAP of five burpees and 10 air squats without the dumbbells. Now for our workout today, option one, two, and three, we're all gonna be starting off with the same movement. It's gonna be an eight minute AMRAP. We're gonna get started with four rounds of five devil presses and 10 dumbbell squats. So, as we get started with the devil presses, we're gonna get down into that burpee position. We're gonna come up. As we swing the dumbbells into the hip, we're snatching both of those dumbbells up overhead. So that is one. We're gonna do five. As soon as you finish your five double presses, we're gonna get those dumbbells to the shoulders, and we're gonna go 10, dumbbell squats, making sure we get all the way below parallel and then squeezing our butt, squeezing our knees at the top. 
Now, if you only have one dumbbell, same thing. Going down into the burpee, come up, snatch that overhead. Switch arms as we go down, burpee, come up, snatch up overhead. And then the same dumbbell squat with a single dumbbell. Now, for the dumbbell squats, you can alternate hands each round. So since we're doing four rounds, do one round on the right, one round on the left, and then right, left, and then going into the last AMRAP. For those of you that did not have access to dumbbells, very similar to the workout a couple days ago when we used the bag for swings, same thing today when we use the bag for our dumbbell presses and our back squats. So you're gonna find a backpack or some kind of bag, you're gonna put whatever weight you can in it, water bottles, uh, books, something heavy to weigh it down, and we're gonna do that same movement of the double press. So bag starts on the floor, we're gonna go down into a burpee. As we come up out of that burpee, we're gonna grab the bag, double press it up overhead, back down to the floor. That is one. Now once we finish our five double presses with the backpack, we're gonna put that backpack or the bag on the front, and we're gonna go straight into our bag squats. All right guys, we're gonna get into a little bit of mobility before we break. We're gonna start off with a couch stretch. So, we've done this before, but you're gonna grab that ab mat, or a towel if you don't have an ab mat. And we're gonna find a wall or something to prop our foot up against. As we get in this lunge position, one foot is behind. Those toes are kicked up against that surface. As we squeeze our butt and push our hips through, we're gonna sit tall and breathe for two minutes. If you need to come out of it shortly, I want you to accumulate that two minutes. So if you need to come out of it for a couple seconds, get back into it and then finish that stretch. But we're gonna go two minutes on each side. The second stretch we're gonna do is called a box lat stretch. So we're gonna put those hands either on a box, a chair, a table. As we sit our knees on the ab mat, we're just gonna let that head and chest hang through the middle. All right, I don't know, I want you guys thinking about taking your chest, I want you to round if you notice from the side, we're not pressing this way, but we're pressing this way, all right? So round that back out, tuck those hips underneath you. You're gonna feel a really good stretch through that lat into the hip. And the last stretch we're gonna get into is a dragon pose or a dragon stretch. So we're gonna get in that lunge position. As we put our hands or our forearms on that knee, our chest is tall, and I want you to think about pushing your hips into the floor. You'll feel a really good stretch from your abs and hip flexor all the way down through your quad. I want you to hold this position for two minutes on each side. If that stretch is really, really intense for you, you can grab something to brace yourself with, so a wall ball or a chair, just to kind of take a little bit of weight off that back hip. But I want you guys holding two minutes on each side. And that is your programming for the day. If you guys have any questions about the workout or the movements, let us know and we can get back to you as soon as we can. But continue to tag us in Instagram, Facebook. Keep posting those pictures and videos. We love seeing you guys uh, work out in your garages and at homes with your families. So we'll see you guys on the whiteboard.